Number three, we want to simplify the ratio. To simplify the ratio, again, we want it to be simplified. We're given in this problem 10 feet over 3 yards. Well, we're in a bit of an issue right here. We can't just cross out the feet and yards because they're two different types of units. As a result, we need to be we need to convert it so we can get rid of the units. Right here, feet and yards. Well, I have to think to myself, what is bigger, a yard or a foot? A yard is going to be bigger, so that means the conversion would look like this. One yard, for every yard you have, you have three feet. So, to solve this one, what you would do is you would figure out how to get rid of feet and yards. Last time it was feet divided by feet would get rid of feet. So, let's rewrite it. So 10 feet over 3 yards, we need feet on the bottom. So the way we can convert it is put 3 feet on the denominator. So I'm going to use it this way. This is just representing multiplication. I'm going to put 3 feet on the bottom. So now that 3 feet's on the bottom, we have 1 yard at the top. And we didn't really change anything here because we're just getting rid of the units itself. For every yard, you have three feet. Now we have yards being divided by yards. So what we have here is 10 feet yards all over nine yards feet. As you can see, the foot will cancel out the foot and the yards will cancel out the yards. So we're left off with 10 over nine. So that means our ratio would be 10 over 9 or 10 to 9.